In this video, we're going to balance the equation for Fe NO3 2 plus KOH. This is iron 2. This right here is called the nitrate ion. So this is iron 2 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. We're going to use a bit of a trick. This is a double displacement reaction. This is a very useful trick in balancing these double displacement reactions. So here's how we do it. We have one iron, but then this NO3, this is the nitrate ion. We have it here and here. It stays together. So we're just going to count that as one thing. I have one nitrate here times two. So I have two of those. I have one potassium atom. And then this OH, this is the hydroxide ion. I have it here and I have it here again. So I just count this as one thing. I have one hydroxide ion here. And these numbers are a lot easier to deal with when you're balancing equations. Product side, I have one iron, just one nitrate ion, one potassium, and then the hydroxide, I have one times two. So I have two of those. And right away, I can see that I need to put a 2 in front of the KNO3. That way, I have the 1 nitrate times 2. That'll give me two of those. 1 times 2. Now I have two potassium atoms. That's okay because I can see if I put a 2 here, 1 times 2 balances the potassium atoms. And then this hydroxide, 1 times 2. And I'm done. This equation is balanced. So you can see it's really useful if you have this nitrate here and here, or if you have the hydroxide here and here, they're on both sides. Just count it as one thing. It makes it a lot quicker to balance. Either way, you get the same answer, but when you're taking an exam, those extra minutes you save, they're pretty valuable. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeNO3 2 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.